Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be reviewing and demoing the Olympus 12mm F2 and I'll be doing that on my Panasonic Lumix GH4. Alright, so I purchased this lens second hand and the reason I bought this lens is because I needed something a little more wide angle and something that was good in low light to do some real estate um, interior shots. So this is 12 millimeters. It pretty much becomes a 24 millimeter when used on the GH4 because of the crop. Um, so it pretty much comes a 24 millimeter, but it is F2, so it's great in low light for those interior shots. So this lens will mainly be used for video. So this review is gonna be based around that. Um, and as I said before, this is second hand, so I'm currently missing the lens hood, but the seller is gonna send that to me soon. I already own a Sigma 1835 that has an aperture of f1.8 that becomes f1.2 when on the GH4 with the Metabone Speed Booster, but it is not a wide enough lens for showing home interiors. I really wanted to go with the Olympus 7-14mm because it is a nice and wide lens, but I'm not too sure how it would go in low light for some house interiors with a minimum aperture of f2.8. It's definitely still a lens on my list to get in the future though, because I think with these two lenses together, it would be the perfect combo. I also already own the Lumix 14140 lens, but again, it is terrible in low light with a minimum aperture of f3.5 at the shortest focal length. Please excuse the disgustingly filthy room. I'm in the process of going through all of my gear. For those who might already own a 14mm lens or similar, this is a test shot to show you that even just 2mm is enough to make a big difference in the width of the shot. This shot right here was on the Lumix 14 to 140 lens at its minimum aperture of f3.5. You can see that it is quite narrow and it's a dark shot. This shot right here was on the Olympus 12mm at its minimum aperture of f2.0. Here we are presented with a well lit shot that is quite a big difference in width. Both of these were shot using the exact same camera settings at an ISO of 800. The only difference was the lens and the aperture setting. Keep in mind that on the GH4, this 2mm difference in focal length actually becomes more like a 4mm difference in its full frame equivalent. Alright, so this footage right here is coming directly from the Olympus 12mm at f2. Um, it is being shot in 1080p and what you will notice if you shoot in 4K is that it will crop in even further. So I'm going to do that now. So this right here is 1080p and this right here is being shot in 4K. So as you can see, it's cropped in quite a bit. Um, for doing real estate and like, things like that, I'll probably just be using it in 1080p just because the file sizes are smaller. It's only going to be for internet delivery and because I'm going to take advantage of that extra field of view. I noticed bare minimal vignetting and distortion even when shooting at f2, although it does start to get a little soft around the edges of your focus area, but that's to be expected for such a fast lens. It is harder but not impossible to achieve a shallow depth of field, being that this is a decently wide angle lens. The good thing about a lens this wide is that most things are in focus which makes it easier for shooting landscapes and interior shots. Autofocus is not something I would usually use when using this camera professionally, but I decided to test it anyway. It does a decent job at autofocusing as long as your lighting is decent. Thankfully being a wide angle lens, most things are in focus anyway. At f2 close up focusing struggles a little bit, but that's to be expected. Okay, so some things I really, really love about this lens. Firstly, is that it's really, really small and it's really, really lightweight. So it makes it easy to carry around, it makes it easy to use on gimbals and balance and things like that. Um, yeah, but at the same time, it still feels really quality, which is nice. Another thing I really love is this focus ring right here. When you pull that back, it enters manual focus. And so you can turn that ring to focus and it actually has hard stops, which is nice. And when you push it forward, it enters autofocus mode, as long as your camera is also on autofocus. In my opinion, I don't think this lens is the sharpest lens I have ever used, especially at f2. I found my focus peaking was telling me things were in focus, but they still looked a little soft when watching the video back. I find the Sigma 1835 at f1.2 is still surprisingly sharper as an overall image. This lens does not have any image stabilization, but it's not really needed being such a wide lens. Okay, so that just about sums up my review on the Olympus 12mm f2. Overall, I'm extremely happy with it. It's definitely going to help shooting those low light interiors because it's f2, it's a really fast lens. 
Um, it's definitely gonna help in that aspect and I've gained a little bit more of a wider field of view over the Lumix 14140, which is awesome. Um, so I think it's definitely gonna be an awesome lens. Um, I'll still probably go down the road of getting the Olympus 7 to 14 millimeter f2.8. Um, just to get a little bit wider field of view. It's not going to be as good in low light, but um, you know, for the times where the lighting is good and I just need a wider angle, I probably will go for that lens. It is a lot more expensive um, than this, even brand new, um, but it's something I will definitely invest in in the future. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm really, really happy with it. It feels like it's made really nicely. Um, I love that this manual focus ring that clicks in and out. I uh, love how it's lightweight, it's small, it's really easy to carry around, it's really easy to balance on gimbals. Um, yeah, I'm a massive fan of it. So what I'm gonna do now is leave you with some test footage and the test footage will be all using this lens, um, probably a variety of different apertures. I'm gonna go outside and play around with it and things like that. I don't have an ND filter for this just yet, um, so I'll do what I can, but I hope you enjoy the test footage and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks very much for watching.